Hi, I'm Eric with Simply Elegant Home Cooking. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite pasta dishes. We're going to be doing beef short rib ragu with rigatoni. This sauce is delicious. We slow cook it for about two to two and a half hours and it uses a very interesting blend of spices. Stick around, I'll show you how to do it. So I have two pounds of grass-fed bone-in uh, short ribs. I've actually cut off quite a bit of fat, so we're probably going to net about a pound and a half uh, going into the pan. There was quite a bit of fat on these, and I have them sitting out at room temperature for the better part of an hour, and I'm going to season them very, very simply with just some salt and pepper. You want to season pretty liberally, and I'm going to flip them over and hit the other side as well. And I'm using a four quart pot. Just make sure you use a big enough pot to make not only the sauce, but also to add the pasta. Pasta dishes like this are always best when you combine them. So I'm going to turn on the heat to medium high. And once this begins to smoke gently, we'll put on the short ribs. Okay, now the pan's had enough time to come up to temperature. I'm going to go in with just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. You don't need much, maybe about a tablespoon is all, because there's plenty of fat in the ribs. So I'm just going to swirl that around. And you just want to lay everything in gently. And that's what you want to hear. You want to make sure it sizzles when it hits the pan. That's a And we're going to want to let these brown for probably about seven or eight minutes until we get some nice color on all sides. And after about three or four minutes on the first side, I gave them a flip and here's how they look. So I flipped them. We're going to let the other side go for about three minutes. You just want to develop some nice color on both sides. Okay, now we have some nice color on both sides. So what I'm going to do, I am going to uh, turn off the heat for just a moment. And I'm going to remove the ribs and we're going to drain most of the oil. We only need about a tablespoon left for the next step. You can see we have some really nice brown bits in the pan. There's going to be a lot of flavor from that. Okay, so I poured out the majority of the oil. I'm going to turn the heat back on to medium. And I have a large onion uh, that I've diced up. I'm going to go in with that. And what we want to do is we just want to cook this for about five minutes. So just get that in there and give it a big stir. Okay, and here's what we're looking for. We don't want to cook them all the way. You just want to get some nice color on there. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to go in with three cloves of garlic that I've uh, broken down in a garlic press. About five sprigs of thyme leaves. And this might sound like a couple weird spices to use, but this is really good. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and just a pinch of ground cloves. So I know that doesn't sound like what you uh, usually think of with pasta, but that's going to add a really nice warmth to the dish. So you want to add that in and just give it a big stir to incorporate everything. You want to make sure not to burn these spices. Uh, so you want to go in there with about a half a cup of red wine to deglaze the pan. And I use a Chianti, but any red uh, Italian wine would work. Be sure to use one that's good enough to drink. Doesn't have to be a high-end wine, but make sure it's drinkable. And just give this a big stir. And what we want to do, we want to reduce this down until that wine is almost evaporated and becomes syrupy. Okay, and now that's simmering away. That's how you want it to look. And I should have added this in a little earlier in the process, but it's no worry. I'm going to go in with about a tablespoon or two of tomato paste. Just give that a big stir to incorporate it all. That'll break down and mix into the sauce. And if you see me make pasta before, you know I love this ingredient. These are authentic DOP certified San Marzano tomatoes. You just want to go in there and gently break them up with your hands. Uh, this is a 28 ounce can. 
and you don't want to pulverize them too finely so you want to leave some big chunks uh, but just break them up gently like so okay now we can see that the uh, wine has almost completely evaporated all that alcohol is going to be gone uh, so we can go in with our tomatoes And then you just want to give everything a big stir to incorporate. Allow this to come back up to a simmer. And as that comes back up to temperature, what you want to do is nestle the ribs back in there. And there's uh, some juice on the plate. You want to make sure to capture all that. There's a lot of flavor. You want to make sure that goes in the sauce. So we're going to allow these to come up to a simmer for a couple more minutes. Okay, and that's the kind of simmer you're looking for. So at this point, I'm going to turn the heat down to low. We're going to cook these low and slow for about two to two and a half hours or until they're super tender and falling off the bone. So we're going to maintain a, a very, very gentle simmer. And you just want to cover this up and we are going to check on it a couple of times. You want to periodically flip the ribs uh, just so they cook evenly. Okay, so we've been going for a little bit more than two hours and here's how everything looks. Uh, you'll notice that it's reduced in volume and the bones have fallen off, which is a sign that the meat is uh, done. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the big chunks of meat and we're going to um, separate these with a fork. And here's what came off the short ribs and we shredded everything up with a fork. Obviously, we didn't want all this fat in the sauce, so I've removed this and this will be discarded. Okay, and off camera, I have shredded up uh, the beef, the short ribs. So now I'm going to just go ahead and add that back into the sauce. And give everything a big stir. And we're going to allow this to continue to simmer. At this point, I'm going to turn on uh, the burner my other burner to heat up about four quarts of water to cook the pasta. And for the pasta, this is what I'm going to be using. I like to do rigatoni and Tocheco is my favorite brand. Uh, this is made in Italy. It costs about an extra dollar, but it's definitely worth the price. Okay, and our pasta water is up to temperature. So you want to add some kosher salt and get that water nice and salty. Go in with the pasta. And we're going to cook this according to the box for al dente, which is about 12 minutes. And as that pasta cooks, just be sure every minute or so to go in there and stir it up a bit so it doesn't stick. And our pasta is now boiling away. This is going to be great. In just a couple minutes, we'll be able to put this dish together. Okay, and it's been going 12 minutes. That should be plenty of time. So I'm going to turn this off. And what I'm going to do, I'm not going to drain this. I'm going to use uh, this tool to... Uh, Combine this with the pasta, and you'll notice that a lot of that water is still going to cling to the pasta. You actually want that. That's going to help us marry the sauce uh, with the pasta. And at this point, I'm going to crank the heat back up to medium uh, to let this get some uh, heat to help the sauce emulsify. And now we've got that nice and mixed, and you can hear the... Uh, sauce sizzling a bit. At this point we can turn the heat off and we're ready to plate this up. So I like to hit it with some finishing touches. I'm going to go on with a handful of fresh chopped Italian parsley. I'm going to add that on and give it another stir. And just the last finishing touch, I'm going to go on with some freshly grated Parmigiano Reggiano. Uh, make sure you get the real stuff, not the stuff that comes in a can. So there we go. This is plated up and looks absolutely delicious. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe for beef short rib ragu with rigatoni and warm spices. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Eric with Simply Elegant Home Cooking, and I'll see you again soon.